I decided to play every single such game or most of them that I own and I decided to see how well they would play out and these are the results. Okay, so as you know, I have a Switch Lite in my possession and I'm going to document what specific game genres are like and also games on the Switch Lite. Now, this is going to work by a system where I'm going to play some games um, from specific genres and then I'm going to rate them out of 5. So... Okay, so for the racing genre, I'm going to be talking about Team Sonic Racing and I'm going to be using other people's footage and give my opinion. Now, immediately, one flaw as soon as I started playing was that the text was too small to the point where I literally had to focus just to see what they were saying. And uh, yeah, just to see, you know, the pop ups every, every so often they, when they would come up, I had to focus. It was really small and it wasn't ideal. Um, but yeah. Because obviously there's so much detail and stuff like that. Yeah, and also because it's a small screen, so much of the UI is all cramped up and you can't really see anything and it's just so hard to play. But the game is not that bad and it runs perfectly. So yeah, it's like, this is a good game to get. It runs perfectly on Switch Lite. And yeah, solid. 3 out of 5. Platforming. For platforming, I'm going to go with a classic. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now, on the surface, this looks and plays amazing, and it is, but this is actually held back on the Switch Lite because you can't play on the big screen and it would look 10 times better, but because the layout of the game doesn't have, you know, 50 things on the, on the screen, it actually looks right, it actually looks right and good to play in handheld mode. It does play great though, obviously, but because of its lack of being able to duck, I'm giving it a 4 to 5. Now, Battle Royale. Now, the last two genres... Um, that I've been talking about have been positive. But now I want to talk about something negative. Apex Legends. You might have played it, or you might have not. But on something like a PS4 slash PS5, it plays outstandingly. However, I can't say the same thing about the Nintendo Switch version. It is horrendous, literally. I remember having high hopes for this when, you know, it was announced. And I remember downloading it on the launch day and opening it and literally... It looked like someone had just threw up everywhere and it had turned into just a spill and this mess. Like, I genuinely wanted to play the game on the Switch because I could play it anywhere. And I had played on PS1, it was really enjoyable for me. But I just deleted it and it gets even worse when you realise the fact that it can only play it till 720p. So the game's going to look bad even way. So... Yeah, this this does not look good for Apex Legends and Battle Royale and Battle Royale genres on the Switch. For this, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Now, life simulators, Animal Crossing. I swear, this game was meant for the Nintendo Switch. Like, for me anyway, when I played Animal Crossing on the handheld for the first time, it felt as if it was meant to be made and played on the switch light but anyway there aren't any real cons for you know, animal crossing because you know it's made for the switch light but um there are actually some perks of being able to however there are some perks of being able to dock the switch which can just literally be like seeing things more clearly five out of five action and adventure style games so assassin's Creed 3 remastered i know that black flag and other games are out but i just want to talk about the games that i own personally now the game runs fantastic and runs perfectly as it should but there are some things i want to talk about now i think because the game is remastered ubisoft obviously bumped up the required specs but you can see how the switch reacts because it's different to you know it's means the four gigabytes of ram at 1600 megahertz you can see how there's some spin on the characters and the ui but you can only really tell that when you're wearing when you're watching a cutscene because the characters are so are then smaller where the other cutscene there'll be less spin around them and you know it's still a good reliable game it's just at times the cutscenes may look a bit you know pixelated and stuff like that but anyway solid again four out of five now, shooters. Uh, this might not be a shooter, I don't know if it is. Attack on Titan 2. AOT 2. You might have heard of it. I have. I love it. But I've only played it on the... I've only played this game on the regular Switch. <clears throat> so, what I did is I downloaded it on my Switch Lite. I played it. And you might be thinking, was there a difference? I literally could not... I couldn't tell a difference. Like, um... It looks great on the Switch Lite. Um, I, 
it just ran the switch light because I could not tell that there was any spill or any like pixelation, anything. It just looks, it just looked perfect. Or it might just be that my brightness was too low. I do not know. <coughs> However, the characters look really small, and also there are there is a lot of lag for me and some lag when I'm playing. I don't know if that's just me, but whatever. Another flaw, however, is that again, like I said, the screen is very small and the UI characters, etc. are also small. So it might be a bit hard to focus on what you need, you know, like your gas or whatever. <coughs> when like your, you know, I don't know, I forgot, I haven't watched it in ages. Um, when like you're rushing through, oh, I haven't watched it in ages, okay, don't, don't slander me. Yeah, but... Um, basically, yeah, it's just hard to like get, like check your meters, you know, make sure it's make sure you don't you don't have to replenish. But yeah, uh, four out of five. But overall, most of these games are excellent, and there are some horrendous games that play horrendously. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, and subscribe. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. It takes like three seconds. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.